Hey guys, I wanna show you how to unlock a new hidden female zombies character for World War II. Now this is definitely not an easy task. The objectives are hidden and they are very challenging. The World War II zombie developers were talking about these hidden objectives or challenges that we had to uncover. Well, we're certainly starting to do that and we've unlocked two characters. People are unlocking this BAT agent and now I have unlocked this female zombies character. She is called a survivalist. And you can see the list here. The first four are our standard, you know, default characters. And then there's six others that we have to uncover. And from what I'm understanding, this is the first time we're actually seeing this female survivalist character unlocked. Her origins are from France and she's wearing a French flag on her left arm. It has the cross of Lorraine on it in the middle. And that was a symbol of free France during World War II. It was the liberation of France from Nazi Germany. And unlocking her and the other characters are gonna be a really big feature in Zombies, which I really appreciate. I think this is incredible what they've done for us. They've added these hidden secret challenges that you don't know what they are until you actually unlock them. So you'll be playing and then all of a sudden it's like, hidden secret or challenge uncovered and this is what you've accomplished. This is such a smart idea for the developers to put in because these challenges are extremely difficult. So when you see somebody in a game with one of these characters, you know that they worked incredibly hard to get it. This is kind of going back to that like blue eyes shotgun, you know, giving you status for working really hard at something. And I'll show you guys the challenges that you have to accomplish to unlock her. When the game first came out and within a day, I started to see some of these hidden objectives uncovered, you know, in the community. And the first one I had seen was survive to wave 30 without getting downed. I had actually unlocked this one myself as well. And and I had gone in to see what the reward was. It didn't tell me anything. I was looking for maybe some extra Raven tokens or a special supply drop, but there was nothing. So we were really lost at that point. But then I went into a game yesterday and I wanted to test to see how do we earn these Raven tokens. Like this is our new liquid divinium system. So I wanted to find out, do we get Raven tokens through just going high rounds or do you have to actually get kills? So I went into a game planning to go to like the mid thirties and I was just gonna run around and do absolutely nothing, not buy any weapons or shoot anything, just stay alive to see if like I could actually earn tokens by going to high rounds and not getting any kills. And by the way, I went to like the mid thirties and got zero tokens. So you definitely have to be killing because in that game I got no kills and you know, high rounds. And yeah, it definitely is not based on that. I had gone to like round 40 before and got like six tokens, but yeah, I got a lot of kills. So here's the game here where I'm just running around and not doing anything. It took a very long time. The other player had to do all the killing. And yeah, I got some of these hidden objectives to pop up. And I started to see kind of a pattern here. It's the same little emblem and it's talking about round 30. So right here, I survived 30 waves without turning on the power and then 30 waves with only the starting pistol. And that one with the starting weapons only, obviously you can bring in different types of weapons like shotguns or snipers and you can always pack them and you know run around with those. The next one is to go to round 30 and not buy any blitz. And the blitz are the perk machines. You can get the armor, but you're not allowed to buy any of the perks. The next one that popped up is to survive wave 30 with only two mystery box purchases, which that one wasn't too difficult. So it looks like there are five challenges. So you need to go to wave 30 for all of them and you need to do it without blitz, without getting down, with only two mystery box purchases, with no power, and then finally only using the weapons that you spawn in with. And you can combine these. Obviously, as you can see here, I got multiple in one game. If you're able to, you know, survive wave 30 with, you know, just a starting pistol and no power and run around, yeah, that, that will give you two of them. And the only way you're gonna know if you completed these or not is to see it on the screen. There's nowhere in the menus that tell you what you have or haven't done. And yeah, once you complete these five objectives for this like 30 rounds, like survive 30 rounds, you can go into your menus and you're gonna see this female survivalist unlocked. This one is incredibly time consuming. I've been playing non-stop and this is gonna definitely make you go over a hundred rounds or more, but it's definitely doable. We've started to unlock some of the other hidden challenges. There's some spawn room challenges that we've unlocked and some stuff in the prologue and and once we get everything completed, definitely we'll show you guys what all happens. If you guys get some stuff unlocked, let us know. I'm excited to see what all these characters look like. But I hope this helped you guys out. Good luck with getting these characters and we'll see you next video.